This episode of Tech Thing from CES 2019 is sponsored by Dell. Thanks, Dell. Now, everybody's waiting for AMD to announce 7 nanometer Zen 2 Ryzen 3000 CPUs and possibly next-gen Vega GPUs in their keynote later this week. But early on Sunday, before CES 2019 even really got rolling, AMD dropped the announcement of its second-gen 12 nanometer Zen Plus Ryzen mobile CPUs, which carry the Ryzen 3000 branding we expect for the desktop parts later this week. We are talking a whole family of CPUs, including AMD Ryzen 7 3750H, 35 watt performance and 3700U 15 watt 4 core 8 thread CPUs. Uh, think of 2.3 gigahertz base, 4 gigahertz turbo mode, and packing Vega 10 graphics, i.e., uh, 10 Vega compute units. Ryzen 5 35 watt uh, H and 15 watt U CPUs with 4 core 8 thread 8 GPU core parts. Those are going to be running at 3.7 gigahertz in turbo mode. Uh, Ryzen 3 4 core 4 thread parts with uh, 6 or 3 GPU cores running at 2.1 to 3.5 gigahertz. Okay, there's no hexacore offerings Intel style at the high end like uh, uh, Intel's Coffee Lake 8 series, but as we come to expect from Dell, you're getting more cores at a lower cost. Now, AMD's entry level Ryzen 3 includes four core, four thread options where Intel doesn't offer that many cores below an i5 configuration unless they announce something big tomorrow. Now, looking at the Ryzen 5 3500U, AMD claims 27% higher on Photoshop filters, similar performance on Office apps, and up to 12 hours of battery life or 10 hours of video playback. That would be really, really impressive and a big improvement over the first gen Ryzen mobile laptops. Speaking of laptops, got to give a shout out to our sponsor Dell and the new Alienware M15 gaming laptop. Alienware's thinnest 15 inch gaming laptop ever. Supports Intel Core i9K processors with dynamic overclocking and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2800 Max-Q graphics capable, they say, of up to 23 hours of battery life on idle. Come in January 29th, starting at $1,579.99. 2019 is going to be a good year for gaming. Our thanks to Dell for sponsoring Tech Things CES 2019 coverage. Thanks, Dell. Now, AMD claims the Ryzen 7 3700U's onboard Vega graphics will deliver a healthy bump up in frame rates compared to, say, a Core i7-8565U. Uh, think 60 frames per second on Rocket League or Fortnite, though we are talking about 720p resolution and fairly low settings. Serious gamers are still going to want a discrete chipset, and we've got the story on NVIDIA's new RTX mobile parts on YouTube.com slash tech thing, because that event happened later on Sunday evening. Now, AMD wasn't just talking Windows laptops on Sunday morning, they also have a pair of two core, two thread, six watt parts for Chromebooks. The AMD A6-9220C packs R5 series Radeon graphics uh, running from 1.7 to 2.7 gigahertz, where the A49120C offers R4 Radeon graphics and runs between 1.6 and 2.4 gigahertz. Something I didn't expect that's pretty exciting, if you've ever been waiting for your laptop manufacturer to update the drivers for the GPU in your laptop, uh, starting in Q1, AMD's Radeon drivers, the software updates, uh, are going to come directly from AMD for all laptops packing a Ryzen mobile CPU with integrated graphics. That means updates for games and better performance faster, which is a good thing. Now, if you're wondering when Ryzen laptops are going to show up, uh, first quarter 2019, AMD expects announcements from their partners this week at CES, and they name check the Asus FX50 5DY 15.6 inch tough gaming laptop in the uh, announcement. Tech thing, we are all over CES 2019 this week. Uh, coverage is coming your way, and we expect AMD to offer up those next gen 7 nanometer Ryzen desktop parts in their Wednesday morning keynote. Do us a favor, head over to youtube.com slash techthing or techthing.com for all our videos. If there's stuff you want to cover, email us, ask at techthing.com or comment down below.